Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another video. Hopefully you are enjoying your day because I certainly am. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at some Infinite Warfare news, but more specifically, some awesome Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered news that is pretty much going to be the blow to you all if you've already read the title. Unfortunately, as the title says, you will not be able to purchase this game on a separate disc as a separate game, which basically means if you walk into your local GameStop, EB Games, Games or any game shop you live, you cannot buy the remastered version as a separate game. What actually happened was Infinity Ward and Activision more or less confirmed this because they did a frequently asked questions um, on their website where people just asked some general basic questions that got um, questioned a lot and Infinity Ward and Activision basically put it down in an FAQ to answer everything more streamlined and easy I suppose. So under question 6 as you can see on the screen it says how can I get Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and Activision or Infinity Ward responds with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is only available through the Legacy, Legacy Pro, and Digital Deluxe editions of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, basically there's two things here. Number one, as I said before, you will not be able to purchase this game on a separate disc as a separate game, which is very unfortunate because Activision are just milking the hell out of this game and they basically want you to pre-order the Legacy Edition because they know everyone will because everyone wants COD 4. They're doing this so they earn more money and I hope more people know that because it's kind of annoying for people who just want the game and it's very annoying for people who don't actually have the money, which really isn't cool at all but apart from that if you want to go ahead and get modern warfare remastered what you need to do is pre-order the legacy edition the legacy pro edition or the digital deluxe edition if i show you the legacy edition i do believe it costs about 80 us dollars which i think is about 130 australian dollars which is absolutely crazy for infinite warfare when it looks like a star wars battlefront game with the cool COD 4 Modern Warfare Remastered, of course. And then you have the Legacy Pro, which I can't remember how much it costs, but it's pretty crazy because it comes with the Season Pass. I think it costs about 160 Australian dollars, which I'm going to guess is about 130 uh, US dollars. I will have it on the screen for you and it will be the right price. And then you have the Digital Deluxe Edition of Infinite Warfare, which I think comes with everything, including like a steel hard case for the game for some reason. If you want that, don't know why, but if you're a collector, that will somehow help you. You, but more or less throughout this video what I've just told you is that no you will not be able to buy this as a separate game in store no you cannot buy this on the PlayStation Store or the Xbox One Store unless you buy the uh, Legacy or Legacy Pro or Digital Deluxe Edition on the Xbox One Store or the PlayStation Store however there is a silver lining I've heard a lot of YouTubers and people talking about this on Twitter and really the only way to get Call of Duty 4 remastered yourself is to go into the shop you buy the game from and what happens when you buy the Legacy Edition in store is that you get a code to redeem on your PlayStation or Xbox to download the game. And I don't condone this, but this is what I've been seeing around the place. And I suppose it would actually work. You buy the game, you put down the code and you download it. And then you return the Legacy Edition back when you've already redeemed your code. I don't know if that's stealing or whatever, but it seems pretty good. Because obviously you don't have to pay for um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered more or less at all. Oh, and of course you had to pay for the legacy edition as well which is kind of annoying uh, but basically that's just one way to get away from it if you don't want to spend 80 US dollars or 130 Australian dollars on this game so more or less you cannot go ahead and buy this game separately unless of course you pre-order the legacy edition whether it be digitally or in store so nonetheless guys I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have drop it a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comment section down below below should it be sold separately because i think it should hope you guys have enjoyed and i will catch you guys later globe out